Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. So what's old has got to go for the undisputed welterweight championship of the world. Errol Spence Jr., Terrence Crawford, this Saturday here in Las Vegas on Showtime Pay-Per-View. Coming to the podium. Oh, we're just getting started. Coming to the podium. Considered by many in this sport, number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Since he's moved up to welterweight, he has stopped every opponent he's faced. That's seven straight. In fact, he has the second longest active knockout streak in the sport of boxing among current world champions. Ten straight knockouts. Only Artur Bedarbiev has more at 19. He is the former undisputed super lightweight champion of the world. He is the current WBO welterweight champion of the world. He is Terrence Bud Crawford. What's up, everybody? First and foremost, I'd like to thank God for blessing me with the opportunity to be here among each and every one of y'all. I'd like to bless everybody that has something to do with putting this event together. Y'all already know what time it is now. I'm ready. He ready. We're going to have a fish fry come Saturday. Hey, you heard it? You heard it? But listen, though. Listen, though. My family, Arrow family, man, you gotta calm down, brother. Cause listen, man, things can get real sticky real quick and then everybody will say, this is what we do every time we come out. This is what we do when we come out. Social media, social media, my ass. Bro, listen, listen, just like you talking, just like you doing all that talking, bro, it can turn deadly real quick but on both sides. So, so why, so why not support? Listen, listen. Why not support your fighter? Support your fighter. You ain't got nothing wrong with that. Support your fighter. Y'all support y'all fighter. Let's come together, make this event a success. Instead of everybody saying every time we get together, you know, what I mean? it's always shooting and violence. That's what I want. Y'all can say whatever y'all want, but. I'm probably older than you and been through way more than you. So, you know what I mean? I'm more mature. But, you know what I mean? I wish Arrow and his people the best. You know what I mean? What? Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, everybody know Team Crawford. Y'all know I get active. Coming to the podium. This man, just like Terrence Bud Crawford, carries a big punch as well. They say the truth hurts. 78% knockout percentage. Six of his last seven opponents were former world champions. Three of them, he took away their straps. Thus, dubbed it strap season. He's the unified. WBC, IBF, WBA, welterweight champion of the world. He goes by the name, The Truth. Big Fish, man down, the biggest, put him in the dirt, grave digger, belt snatcher, 
Mr. Errol Spence Jr. Y'all know what time it is, draft season, it's true time. First of all, I'd like to thank my mother and father, because without them I wouldn't be here. They blessed me with the resiliency to get through a lot of stuff in life. I like to thank everybody coming out here and supporting. Make sure y'all order fight on Showtime pay per view. I guarantee you, I'm gonna put on a great show and a great performance. Make sure you bring your season for Saturday night because we're gonna have a crawfish boil. We're gonna boil his ass. We do. Bring the hot sauce too. Bring the hot sauce too. You already know Bo Man got the season too. He's gonna be right there with us after the fight. Derek James, I'll start with you. You've already produced one undisputed champion. You're going for another. Can you give us some insight on what it takes to win fights like this of this magnitude, especially with so much on the line? Well, it just takes a lot of fortitude, a lot of uh, discipline, a lot of focus. I think that uh, I know for sure everyone has that no different than Jamel or whatever. But tonight or tomorrow or Saturday night, this time. I mean, we waited. We made this happen. We took every belt. He just had to hold his title and fight nondescript opposition. We beat champions to get here. Listen, listen, who, who, why, why everybody got something to say? Everybody talking. You're not a fighter, you're a fighter. Hey man, listen, man. Okay, whatever. He a bum, man. He a bum. Brian. You know, the interesting thing is, you've already produced an undisputed champ. Now you've had the opportunity to kind of make history and do it, be the first male to do it in another weight division. You're going up against, obviously, a phenomenal fighter, and then also a trainer of the year. But if you're vict victorious on Saturday, what does that say about Brian Bo McIntyre as a trainer? He got three other people helping him. It's funny. It's funny, y'all, because come on, y'all, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. It's it's funny, y'all, because <laughs> ain't no more hiding. You can't hide no more, Derek. We're gonna find out who the best man is. I respect you for what you've done in the game, but you ain't never went up against me or my staff. So you remember something. We've been here before. You trying to get there. All right? I can tell you how it is to be undisputed. You can't tell me shit. Sit back and watch this. Sit back and watch this. I promise you something. I promise you something. Listen, man. They got to make a new way for you. Have super heavyweight. Fuck you, Joe. All that, all that shit you talking, all that shit you talking don't mean nothing. I can, I can pull my guns at you, you can pull your guns at me, but at the end of the day, them two brothers got to get in the ring. That's right. All right, then, so shut the fuck up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This is going to be one heck of a fight. Yes, ma'am, I will. Now, let's get to the fighter. Look, mama. What is Bud Crawford going to find out about Errol Spence Jr.? That he hasn't seen on video and maybe didn't notice when he went to one of your fights. What's he going to find out about EJ on Saturday night? And my skills are superior. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's talented. You know, he got God-gifted abilities, but we talk about skill set. We talk about what my coach teach. And that's why he is a trainer here, because what he teach, you know, he, he don't have a part of it just, just talented. He teach fundamentals. He teach sound basics. And that's what he's gonna find out that that I do have great defense, I do have great offense, I do have great stamina, I have all the above, I just don't have talent. But same question. What's Errol Spence Jr. gonna find out about Bud Crawford when he steps in the ring finally on Saturday night? The same thing that everybody else find out. They don't come in there and say, damn, I kinda underestimated this guy. On TV he looks one way, but in the ring. I saw three of them, so you know uh, it's it's all good. You know he got the fundamentals, he got you know the durability, he got the stamina, he got the size, he's strong, he's he's the big bad wolf. 
you know. So uh, come fight, come fight night. We are gonna find out, you know, all that that he said he is. He's gonna have to show. Me. But this will be your eighth fighter at welterweight. Seven of them have been stopped. Will Errol Smith Jr. get stopped on Saturday night? I always tell everybody, I don't go in there looking for the knockout. I go looking for the win. But if he get out of line, he's going to be the next one down. I've been getting out of line my whole life, so shit, you got to do what you got to do. Shit, I'm going to take my belt off. Man. You got to do what you got to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Errol? You're going to need more than a belt. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't one of your kids. Treat you the bear. I ain't one of your kids. Treat you like one. Yeah, all right, we gonna see. Right, we definitely gonna see. We definitely gonna see. Errol, same question to you. you. One of your monikers is man down. This is for the undisputed welterweight title. Will you stop Terrence Bud Crawford Saturday? Put him in the dirt. <laughs> Folks, I ain't putting nobody in the dirt. Folks, we'll wrap it up with this. Bud Crawford, for the over a million people who will be watching this fight, for the well over 20,000 that have sold out this arena, put down their hard-earned money to come watch you two champions fight. What can you guarantee us we're going to get when you step in the ring with Errol Spence Jr. on Saturday night? I can guarantee you fireworks. I can, I can guarantee you all that. You know, uh... I'm 100%, 120% ready. I'm ready for whatever he brings to the table. He said he come and step in and he's gonna break me, as he say. Uh, let's, let's see what's gonna happen. Break your ass like Hey, Davey, grab what y'all talking about. Errol Smith Jr., same question. Over a million people are gonna buy this fight. Over 20,000 are going to come to this arena. What can you guarantee the boxing public they're going to get when you step in the ring with Terrence Bud Crawford? You a bitch. You a bitch, nigga. See, you a bitch, nigga. You a bitch, nigga. Hold on, hold on. Let Errol. You a bitch, nigga. Because you keep talking about a bitch, nigga. You doing all that talking, nigga. That's how we're going to get it. You doing all that talking, nigga. Oh, hold on, ass nigga. You catch me, you got to come back. You catch me, you got to come back. These real niggas don't talk, nigga. And you talking too much. <laughs> well, like I said, this fight, this is gonna be some iconic shit right here. This is gonna be legendary shit right here. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. This is a legendary old school fight. Give that whole ass nigga some attention. Put the camera on him, because that's what he's doing. Showing out like a female. Well, let, him, let him finish, bud. Go ahead, go ahead, EJ. All right. Y'all yeah, yeah, done? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> this is gonna be this is some legendary shit. This is gonna be iconic shit. I guarantee y'all gonna wanna tune in to this fight. Y'all gonna wanna buy this fight. This is gonna be your money's worth. This is gonna be something you gonna, people we gonna people gonna talk about this fight 30, 40 years from now when they talk about legendary fights like they talk about Ray Leonard, Tommy Hearns, and Marvin Hagler, and those four kings era. And all those tough fights back then, they're gonna talk about this fight the same way. There's gonna be somebody in USA Boxing as an amateur 20 years from now watching us fight, watching our fight on YouTube, whatever platforms they got, and saying, man, I wanna be in an Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford type fight. So y'all make sure y'all tune in, I guarantee you, it's gonna be nothing but fireworks from start to finish.